To finish up this demo, we're down in the sensor research lab with Lieutenant Commander Mike Taus, who's one of our PhD students here. And he has a laser Doppler vibrometer set up. This is a piece of equipment that I kind of like because it relates back to the Doppler shift that we studied in the previous chapter. But instead of using the Doppler shift based on sound waves, it uses the Doppler shift in a laser beam to measure the vibrations of an object. And so we've got this spot uh, pointed towards the end of this rod so that we can pick up the vibrations of the rod. And you may notice it's mounted on this very thick table. And this is typical of optics research where you have to be able to isolate the experiments from the vibrations of the building. You don't ordinarily think of the building vibrating except in earthquakes, but it has low level vibrations all the time. And so this massive table serves to dampen out those vibrations. So we have the rod set up, and you'll notice that instead of holding it at the midpoint, we have it clamped at the midpoint, and that's to enable the, the laser spot to remain at the end of the rod. Otherwise, the rod moves a lot, and the spot uh, goes off of the end of it. And we're also going to excite the rods in a slightly different way. Instead of stroking the rod with the resin, again, in order to keep that laser spot on it, I'm just going to gently tap the end of it and induce the vibrations that way. Now let's go and look at what the signal was. The graph that's created, it's been generated to look at the spectrum of the signal that comes off. And you can see on this graph, there's a very clear, large, fundamental signal. Um, and this, can you pick up the frequency of that? 1.41 kilohertz. 1.41 kilohertz, exactly the frequency that we got from the little digital recorder that you saw previously. And then in this also, you see this very, very uh, small, I guess this is the second harmonic of it. Um, this is on a linear scale. And as we talked about early in the course, you can see a lot more detail on a logarithmic scale, um, but this one doesn't have the capability to go into the, the logarithmic scale. So you see the same types of vibrations that you saw earlier, um, but this is because of the physical vibrations as opposed to the acoustic vibrations.